surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with this plastic board that I got from Michael's Craft Store. And this is what I'm going to be recreating that I fell in love with. And of course, if you don't want to make a DIY for this, you can go ahead to Ellen Kent Furniture and make your purchases. Now, this is what I'm going to be using to recreate the mirror. I just placed the mirror in the middle to get the measurement before I continue. Because of the process that I'll be using for this particular DIY, I wasn't too sure about the masking tape. So after putting the tape, I had to go around again with the hot glue gun. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next thing I'm gonna do is make marks where I'm gonna be carving out to look similar to the inspiration photo. The cuts are not perfect because in the inspiration photo, the shapes that were around the mirror was not perfect as well. So I'm just going to try to make it as close to the photo as possible. And the decor set that I'm going to be making is going to be smaller than the one that's in the photo. And I'm making mine much smaller because of where I want to put it. Just to be extra sure that nothing gets to the middle, I had to glue dowels around it. I'll be using a plaster of Paris for this DIY. On this frame, I have four sides. Now, because I don't want what I have to dry out, I'm just gonna be working on two sides first and then when I'm done with the design, I'm gonna go ahead and do the remaining two sides. My hubby and I were just talking about the cheapest way to recreate this look, and I thought about skewers. But then I will need a lot of packs. And then I also thought about using a hot glue gun to make the lines, but then I would need a lot of glue sticks. So I decided to just use plaster of Paris and a comb to give me the lines that I want.
I used plastic sheet for this to make it easy for me to cut out the pattern, but then I realized that the plastic sheet may not be able to hold the plaster of Paris well in the end. So I will recommend using a flexible piece of wood that can be cut. I'll be taking off the dowels now because I don't want it to dry with the POP. I'm gonna keep this aside and let it set. Now moving on to the table. I'll be using a wooden board that I have at home and I've got two of these. So I'm gonna be cutting the boards down to size for the project. I'm gonna be making strokes on these boards as well. And because I want the strokes to flow in a continuous pattern, I'll be using tape at the back to hold all the pieces together. I'm also doing it this way because it is much easier to make the pattern that I want on the floor on a flat surface before then making it into a form of a table. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other boards, but the one that's going to be down in the middle is going to have a different pattern. When I was done with that, I kept it aside and then these are stands that I got that's going to be for the table. I'll be using this trunk adhesive to attach the boards at the top and at the sides. After attaching the boards, I seal the corners and then I let it out to dry for a bit and then I spray painted it gold. I also spray painted the mirror gold. I then attached a hook at the back and also glued on the mirror in the middle. Now this is what both pieces look like together. Looking at this, it did not turn out close to the inspiration photo. It kind of looks a little bit different with thinner strokes. And the thinner strokes give it a different look altogether, which was never my intention. And because this was cheap to make, I'll probably just make another one in silver and probably use skewers instead of POP. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. If we